How's it going, everyone? Today, I'm just going to tell you a math joke. The joke works its way every year around this time, around mathematical circles, is that you can prove mathematically that Halloween equals Christmas. Of course, it doesn't, right? It's completely different celebrations, but there's a joke that you can prove that it does. And I'll tell you this joke and I'll explain it to you. The thing actually being proven in the joke is that October 31st equals December 25th. And those of you who are from mathematical circles, some of you might be looking at that and already you're saying to yourself, oh, haha, ha, okay, I get it. Okay, fine, good one. And most of you are thinking, what is going on here? I, I this, None of this makes sense. So I'm going to explain to you what, what's going on here. So the abbreviations OCT and DEC, they actually have a certain mathematical meaning. They refer to how you should interpret the numerical symbols in front of this set of letters. And taking that mathematical meaning into consideration, OCT31 actually does equal DEC25. And here's what's going on here. Let's start with DEC, okay? That abbreviation, that is referring to the decimal number system, okay? And decimal number system, people say, oh, using decimals, right? Or are we talking about something after a decimal point? Well, it actually means base 10, okay? Base 10, okay? So what is a base 10 system? Well, it's a numerical system, right? There's different ways that you could record amounts, okay? People are familiar with the decimal system, right? Also sometimes referred to the Indian system, the Arabic system. Uh, people are familiar with the Roman numeral system, okay? So the decimal, the base 10 system, is a system where you have 10 symbols, okay? In our case, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these are uh, sometimes called Hindu numerals or Arabic numerals, Indian numerals, okay? You, you could have any base 10 system as long as you have 10 symbols, okay? And what happens, we get to the number nine, and once we get to 10, we've run out of symbols, okay? We actually don't have a symbol for 10, right? So what we do is we say, okay, we put a one because we ran out of symbols once and then a zero. Okay, so we ran out of symbols once and that's it, nothing else after that. Okay, that's our symbol for 10. And for 11, we say we ran out of symbols once and then one more number after that. For 11, we say we ran out of symbols once and then two, no two more numbers after that, right? That's for 12. 13, we ran out of symbols once and three more numbers after that. Eventually we get to 19, we ran out of symbols once, and nine more numbers after that. And then what happens? Well, we've run out of symbols again, right? So now we've run out of symbols twice and nothing else after, right? 21, we've run out of symbols twice and one more thing after. 22, we've run out of symbols twice, two more things after. Then three more things after running out of symbols twice, four more numbers after running out of symbols twice, and then five more numbers after running out of symbols twice, right? And that's 25, right? So DEC 25, right, means we're using a base 10 system. And in that system, we've run out of symbols twice and five more numbers that we counted after that okay so why do we use a base 10 system okay arabic numerals hindu numerals base 10 roman numerals they work a little bit differently in terms of what the symbols are but it's also a system where 5 and 10 are very important numbers right everything is based on fives and tens right so why is that? Well, probably because we have 10 fingers, right? So for us as humans, it's convenient to count things in groups of 10, okay? 
And I mean, the, the Roman system itself is, is very directly based on, on fingers on our hands because the, the sticks and the V's and the X's, they actually come from pictures of fingers and hands. But the thing is, when we're counting what we need to count to understand nature around us, 10 isn't always the most convenient base for a number system. Okay? And if we evolve to have three fingers on each hand, so six fingers instead of 10, well, then we'd have a base six system, right? So because it's not always convenient, what is always convenient? Well, sometimes a base two system is convenient, that's binary, sometimes base four, right? Just doubling two, sometimes base eight if you double that, base 16 if you double that. These bases often come in handy, and one of those bases, that's base eight, okay? And this is the octal system, okay? So this means an octal number system, which means base eight. Okay, so base eight means instead of having 10 symbols, right, from here to here, we only have eight symbols, okay? So how do we count in a base eight system? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. We've run out of symbols. So how do you write eight in an octal system? Well, you've run out of symbols once and nothing else after that. This is the symbol for eight. That's how you write eight in an octal system, right? So in a decimal system, this symbol is the same thing as an octal system showing this symbol, okay? So how do you write nine in an octal system? Well, you've run out of symbols once, and then one more number after that, that's nine. How do you write 10 in an octal system? Okay, well, you've run out of symbols once, and then two more numbers that you count after that. This is what a 10 looks like in an octal system, right? So in a decimal system, one zero is the same thing as an octal system, one two. This is what a 10 looks like in an octal system. Okay, 11, 12, 13, and then how do you write 14, right? How do you write 15, right? You've run out of symbols once, and seven things happened after that. That's 15, right? Run out of symbols once, that means eight, plus seven, that's 15. How do you write 16? We've run out of symbols again, right? Because our last symbol here is the seven, right? So how do you write 16? It means you've run out of symbols twice and nothing else after that. This is how you write 16 in a base eight system, okay? So notice that whatever the base is, this digit shows what it's multiplied by. Right, so if we have DEC20, right, this is a base 10 system, that two here means 10 times two, right? If we have OCT20, that's a base eight system, that two here means eight times two, right? That's why it's a 16, okay? A 17 in a base eight system looks like this, right? This is eight times two, and then this here is plus one, okay? That's 17, right? In a decimal system, we call that 17, right? If we're working in a decimal system and we write two one, okay, well this is 10 times two plus one right here, so that's 21, okay? Well, of course it's 21, that's what it looks like in a decimal system, right? So in an octal system again, right, here's our 17, right? How do we write 18? You've run out of symbols twice and two more things after that, or two eights, right? And then two more things after that, that's 18, right? How do you write 19? You've run out of symbols twice and three more things after that. 
Okay, 20. You run out of symbols twice and four more things after that. Okay, that's 16 plus four, right? So this is 20, 21, 22, 23, right? In an octal system, you've run out of symbols twice and seven things after that, right? 16 plus seven, this is 23. How do you write 24, right? We've run out of symbols again, right? So how do you write 24? Like that, right? Three times eight, nothing else after that. That's 24. This is how you write 24 in an octal system. So how do you write 25? Well, one more number after that. That's 25, okay? So in an octal system, three eighths and another one after that, 24 plus one, that's 25. In a decimal system, that is 25, okay? And that is your proof right there. That Halloween equals Christmas. Or to be more exact, what we're proving is that 3, 1 in a base 8 system is equal to 2, 5 in a base 10 system, right? Oct 3, 1 equals des 25. That's a little math joke. Some mathematicians will look at that. They'll laugh right away. Ha ha. And thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a happy Halloween. Until next time, enjoy.